Hello, my sweet friends. This is Tracy. Welcome back to another wreath tutorial. Guys, y'all know um, I have mentioned before, this is my busy wreath season. So I am trying to uh, share as many wreath tutorials as I can for those of you sweet friends that love to see my wreath tutorials. Anyway, if you're new here, my name is Tracy. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me share how I made this wreath, this fall wreath using a grapevine wreath form. Okay, I used one of these wooden Hello Fall letters that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, as well as some of this plaster color chalk paint. I picked this up at Walmart. Now I just gave it uh, a coat. I covered it well with a, a coat of this plaster color chalk paint just to, you know, uh, take off the raw wood and just give it some, just some off-white color. So then this is how it looks. I'll paint it up. Next, I'm gonna add some distressing and I chose to use my uh, vintage photo distressing ink with my finger dauber. I do this quite a bit on my projects and I just go around the uh, edges of the letters just to add a bit of distressing. To attach this uh, to my grapevine wreath, I'm using this wire that I get from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this is an 18 inch grapevine uh, wreath form. I like to get mine at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's the, you know, the size that works best for me. Anyway, what I did with that wire, I just secured it uh, to the grapevine wreath, just, you know, with a wire threading it through the grapevine just so that it's attached. Okay, so then now I'm gonna start adding my florals. And uh, the, this wheat floral is from Walmart. And um, what I did is I just, I wanna put a bow there kind of like where in the middle. You'll see that in a second when I share the picture. But what I do is I just start adding florals just on both sides, uh, kind of the way that I want to see them. Uh, you know, cascade up and down. And so I just layer, basically that's what I do when I am working with a grapevine wreath. And so then this bushel, this bundle of flowers is all in one and it came from Walmart. I picked that up earlier this season and it is a peony and pumpkin bouquet. And so I just cut off you know, the stems, and then I just start layering it on. Uh, you can see there on the right, I have my glue skillet. That's not necessary. I just like using the glue skillet with my Gorilla Glue to add my florals into my uh, my grapevines. And so I just start layering on and uh, kind of trying to be even on, you know, either side. And so I just stick the stem in the glue pot and then I stick it into the wreath. A glue skillet is just handy. Um, I got mine from Amazon, but um, I'm not quite sure. I mean, you can get glue skillet or you can get actual skillets in the like kitchen section of any store that will work just as well. I've had this one for many years and it's pretty loved. Anyway, but you want your glue to be of a honey consistency consistency. I, you know, I don't want it to be smoking. I want it to be a honey consistency anyway. So I just continue to, um, you know, put in my flowers, put in different, uh, florals, uh, put in different berries and picks and just different things. And so right there in the middle, that's where I kept uh, that. I'm going to show you next how I made the bow using my easy bow maker. But this is just a little overview of what the finished wreath looks like. So then now let's go ahead and work on the bow and I will share how I made that. 
to make my bow, I am using my Easy Bow Maker. I will have a link in the description box below as to where I did get mine. Uh, it just makes bow making a little bit easier. Um, okay, so what I do is I have a two and a half inch burlap ribbon. I think this ribbon I picked up at Michael's. And so I twist in the middle and then I am just measuring out my loops. I think those are like five inch loops. And I just make sure that it's even on both sides. Uh, and then also like I hold my my um, loops up to make sure that they're even as well because I have been known to get off track. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, anyway, so then I just dovetail that. I don't even know why I did that because I'm gonna go back later and redo them. Uh, anyway, but I'm just, you know, have this two and a half inch. This is my favorite ribbon, guys. This burlap with the buffalo check on the edges. I may have mentioned it before, but that's my favorite ribbon. Um, I love this. Anyway, so I'm just trying to figure out how long I want the tail. And then I twist in the middle and put it in between those little holders and gather it and make my loops. I'm uh, The goal is to make you know, the bottom loops larger and then stagger them a little bit smaller as I layer the bow on top. And uh, so anyway, I'm just kind of fiddling with the bow here. Uh, anyway, so I have you know, I'm opening this ribbon and then I'm like, hmm, no, I want to get some of this window pane ribbon and add it to my bow that came from Hobby Lobby. And uh, so I don't make, make a bow with it. I just actually add some tails on there just to give it some, you know, depth and dimension and character to my bow. So then now I have this um, one and a half inch burlap. It's kind of, um, kind of ragged on the edges and that also came from Hobby Lobby and I'm just making just some loops uh, they're probably about a little over two inch loops and I just cut those off and bows are kind of for me all about the layering and so this one and a half inch burlap I think I got that is from probably like Sam's a couple of years ago and uh, anyway so I love to add you know burlap and it's all about the layering and all about the cuteness when it comes to bows. So this one and a half inch um, farmhouse burlap ribbon came from Hobby Lobby, that's in the Christmas section, but I recently found some at Michael's as well. So I'm so happy because guys, this, if I had to pick a ribbon, you know, if it was my last day and they say, okay, girl, pick you some, you can only pick one ribbon to take with you. This would be it. I love this burlap uh, ribbon. And so anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of adjusting my loops and just I like this easy bow maker when I'm doing these big layer bows like this because those dowels just hold everything in place. And so then um, I have two pipe cleaners. I um, am making it longer. I learned this tip from Damon over at Deco Exchange. Um, I will leave uh, a link to his um, website and, and stuff. Cause guys, if, if you are Ruth wreath maker and you want to learn more tips and tricks and bows and all of that, Damon is one to follow anyway. So then uh, the pipe cleaners, I just twist it on and, you know, make my bow kind of pop. And then I added it to my wreath and I love the way that this wreath turned out. Um, I just thread the pipe cleaners through the grapevine and attached it. Uh, I don't wrap it around the wreath. I actually try to thread it through the wreath. Um, so that everything's nice and secure and tucked away. Um, if sometimes if I can't get my pipe cleaner through like the grapevine, I will use my needle nose pliers to pull that pipe cleaner through. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of your kind comments, your support of my channel, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Mm -hmm.